uh, and uh, also our, our database that we have. We have a mm -hmm. new swipe um, database mm -hmm. so that when, when someone comes in, they say, uh, they swipe the, into this little screen and it says, um, once they get assigned their little card, it's like a little card, like a, like your CVS discount card okay. or something. Yeah. Right. And it, you swipe it in and it says, hi, Evelyn, what activities are you here for today? Yeah. And Evelyn touches, I'm here for a pitch yeah. and I'm here for lunch. Okay. And uh, then it registers into our database. Yeah. It, it helps us um, show our value, shows that yeah. the center's being used. Yeah. Not, we don't really care who's using the center in terms of the data. We're looking as to how many, yeah. um, how many people are using the da uh, using the senior center, so that we can justify why we exist right. um, to the to the state, to the town, yeah. um, to, to for our funding sources. So, oh, um, it, it so the swipe like card is really important for folks to use. In the, with that swipe card, it also says that you can kind of keep track of what, what people are enjoying doing? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's phenomenal the amount of statistics you can pull out of yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's very important. I mean, some folks don't like the technology. Some folks love the technology. But it's really, it's really important to our, to our existence for folks to, to, to uh, remind each other to, to swipe in when they come so that, yeah. that we, we know that they're here and, and uh, the, the town and the state knows, knows that the, those numbers count. The other piece of fogey I would like to talk about is um, their generosity with our, uh, our fund for fuel. Um, they, every year they do a, this little campaign to try to get funds available to keep elders warm. Okay. We do have SMOC, which is the South Middlesex Opportunity Council that mm -hmm. folks can apply to if they're in a particular income level right. to receive some fuel assistance. Yeah. Uh, but sometimes they're just, and, and, the, and the amount for that is, is so, so low um, yeah. that many people just come to that threshold and don't quite qualify but really, really need assistance. Right. And uh, that's where FOGI comes in. Or, or perhaps they're, they are in the process of qualifying for the SMOC fuel fund, mm -hmm. but it hasn't, hasn't um, it, you know, come into play yet. So right. FOGI will cover them in, in that interim. Oh, so really folks are donating to the um, FOGI gift fund for that. And if, if they want to make a check uh, to support the, the FOGI uh, heating fund, they yeah. could send it to PO Box, uh, FOGI, F-O-G-E, yeah. PO Box 186 Grafton, Mass, mm -hmm. 01519. Well, that's a great resource. we appreciate resource. Any, any support that yeah, they can that's give. Great. I didn't even know that that existed. That's great. Keeping elders warm. Uh, the sheriff department is uh, coming. They're, they're going to come and do an, an iris scan. Um, yeah. There's a new, new technology out that it's, it's better than a fingerprint. If the, it doesn't hurt, it's just kind of like this light. Uh, you look into this this camera at the the senior center, yeah. um, and we'll advertise a date in advance as to next time that, that they're coming. Okay. And it's it takes like a little photograph of your iris. Yeah. So let's just say you're you're out and you get you bump your head and you're wandering and you're lost and yeah. and uh, yeah. you know you lose your way. You don't really have a little bit of a, a memory issue or what have you, or an Alzheimer's issue. Yeah. Um, the the police can take. A scan your eye and yeah. it'll go right to their database and say oh well this is Marvin Smith and he lives at such and such street oh, okay right and uh, it'll it'll uh, it's like a low jack for the body sure <laughs> I think it's great it well it reminds me of like you know people um, you, let's say you someone was was lost or, or someone injured themselves or whatever and didn't have their identification their wallet on them I know or that can't speak yeah I mean right or can't yeah. speak I mean to be able to, to say okay well this is who this person is that's great that's good to know um, but dementia um, Alzheimer's, it is very much a, uh, a concern, um, mm -hmm. and not only in our community, but nationwide, as we all know. And it's, it's highly irregular that this iris scan will mm -hmm. need to come into play for an individual. Mm -hmm. But if the, if, this, if the elder that particularly has an, a dementia or an Alzheimer's situation and they get scanned, mm -hmm. Those folks are. I really recommend those folks to make sure that they get yeah. they get a scan. And it's all free, right? It's all, all, all free for the, the sheriff's department. And That's they also great. are doing um, something fun for us as well as as uh, helpful. They're yeah. they're decorating the uh, exterior of the senior center for us for the fall. Okay. Uh, with some corn stalks and hay bales and pumpkins and oh, whatnot, great. giving a little festive feel to the place. Oh, that's great. Grafton really does a great job participating, and they really get into the season. What about out to lunch? How about that? That sounds. That's when you guys go into different well, restaurants, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, once once a month, uh, 
we do a little outdoor, we do a little excursion. We take folks mm -hmm. to lunch that one is for Grafton residents. They can sign up and take the, take the van. Or if they're not Grafton residents, they can just meet us there and we'll, we d we'll include them in our count we d if we know about it. Okay. Like um, this month they were going to Brian's oh, out Brian's. in, uh, yes. what is that, Linwood? Or yeah, Linwood, yeah. yeah. So everybody gets their own check, yeah. so separate checks. Oh, that's good. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's good. Helps a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Cuts down on any, any bickering. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and they have a wonderful time. They go out to eat together. Yeah. They all they all converse and have a, a grand time. It must be nice too going during the day, just yeah. like doing errands. They have an opportunity to do them at the least busiest time, you know, to do them in the morning or to, to do them in, in the early afternoon to avoid that, that time when everybody at five o'clock or oh, yeah. six o'clock is going to the supermarket. You know, it, it must be nice for them to have that the ability to smart to do too, especially. And it picks them up curbside at their house mm -hmm. and and uh, you know it's the buses are not like a um, a taxi where it's one person mm -hmm. to one stop, one person to the next stop. It's mm -hmm. it's you know a group um, like the Gert bus is, is called Gert yes. because it means Grafton elders riding together. Right, <laughs> right, right. And uh, so the folks we try to take as many people as we can. Yeah. Um, like to Worcester, uh, we try to tell everyone to maybe get like a ten o'clock appointment so okay. that there's less waiting and okay. and uh, everybody gets to like the you know St. V's or yeah, uh, Fallon right. Clinic or wherever they're right, going right. and then we pick them up all at once on the way back so it it, it uh, removes the, the amount of waiting. Is there a difference between the Gert van and the Senior Center van or are they both the same? Well we have two vans. Okay. The, the town owns the Gert van. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it's town owned and town operated. Yeah. The other van we have is the WRTA Worcester okay, Regional right. Transit Authority blue, red, white, and blue van. Right, right. That is Worcester Regional Transit Authority owned, but uh -huh. it's operated by Grafton Senior Center staff. Okay. And the, the bus number is 911. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, so you'll wow. always remember that yeah, bus number. Yeah, that's, that's right. For very unfortunate yeah. reasons. But, right. Um, but that's, uh, so that's owned by the Worcester Regional Transit Authority, mm -hmm. and they give us uh, um, uh, uh, some reimbursement for the operation of that. Not yeah. all. So yeah. we will also yeah. go to town meeting yeah. every fall and try to make up the difference in, the, in what we need for the van as opposed to what WRTA is able oh. able to give us. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, we're, u we're usually pretty good. I think, yeah. we, I think we only ask about uh, 5000 from the town somewhere yeah. in that ballpark right. every year right. to operate the WRTA van. The, oh. the WRTA pays for yeah. the driver, the gas, yeah. the phone. They pay for just about everything else. So both of those are, are modes of transportation oh, are in yeah. use pretty much. The WRTA van um, is primarily an in-town errand van. That, okay. The WRTA kind of stays in town, okay. whereas the GERT van it, it's more of our satellite v van for oh. getting out to the the other towns, Shrewsbury, Millbury, Worcester, right. for the uh, the uh, um, out of the area medical appointments. I, I, I think it's so great that you guys go to the Solomon Pond Mall. A as an example, the reason I bring this up is because this is a very uh, unique area where there are shops, there are you know there are strip malls where there's you know but you know. But to go to the Salm Pond Mall, to go somewhere like that, where that is like, um, there's so much there, an actual mall with every store you can imagine, instead of saying, okay, well, you're restricted to just this one shopping location. Well, and some folks like to go to the Solomon Pond Mall or any of the area indoor malls, particularly in the wintertime for mm -hmm. walking. Yeah, um, yeah. It, You know, a lot of folks come to the gym, and, and there's walking in the gym from 8.30 to 9.30 every yeah. morning at the senior center. Yeah. But sometimes going around in that... So that square and yeah. the inside the gymnasium can get a little monotonous. Yeah. So you like a change of scenery. So you can yeah. still get your exercise in, window go to the shop. mall, window <laughs> shop, you know, have a, have a nice little jaunt with your friend, yeah, yeah. have an exercise buddy together, go to the mall, get yeah. your walk on. Right. Yeah, and also we have at the center on um, Tuesday, Thursdays is that exercise class that we already discussed with Wendy and the, 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 oh, yeah, the, and the creativity. Yeah. And then on Thursdays, we have two classes. Mm -hmm. We have a, uh, a chair yoga class yeah. at 9 a.m. Um, you know, and very, it all has a little piece of like um, maybe a med meditative piece to it. Okay. It calms the soul and whatnot, yeah, right. as well as the Tai Chi. We also have yeah. a Tai Chi class that mm -hmm. follows that. Yeah. Um, so the Tai Chi class is at 1030. Okay. Um, but they're they're both kind of mind, body, yeah. spirit connected yep. and, and uh, lovely music plays. And, uh, um, you know, it reminds me of that uh, 
wax on, wax oh, off. Oh, yeah, right, right. <laughs> the Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Uh, but the instructor is, is absolutely, she's a lovely lady, yeah. and the seniors, she has quite a following. Um, these classes, again, these exercise classes that I spoke of, the three, the uh, the one on Tuesday and Thursday, yeah. and the, the two that are on Friday, are free of charge that's because great. Friends of Grafton Elders has supported that class. Oh, that's great. That's great. And you get a little bit of everything. You get exercise, but you get relaxation. That's great. So you get a little balance of everything. Well, there's so much you great stuff going balance. on. Got to have a balance. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I would absolutely. <laughs> Again, we're talking about uh, National Senior Center Month here in Grafton at the Grafton Senior Center. My guest is Michelle Drum. Um, is there anything uh, that we didn't touch on that you that you wanted to, to mention? I mean, we covered a lot. I, I love being able to look at the, the month like this, and it, the, the calendar is great. I mean, you can see all the great events that are going on on a daily basis. You can see the shopping trips, and uh, you can see all the, uh, the activities broken down on a given day. It's just great. I mean... The fact that, oh, I'm going to go to this, play play a couple games, go check my email. and Go to the uh, independent painting class and, and do my art. And, uh, yeah, how's that know, doing? That sounds Oh, they love that on Fridays. It, it, you know, because w there's no instructor in the in the independent painting class. Um, they come and they just do their own work. Yeah. But what it is is that it, the, the class itself has given them an opportunity to put time aside in their day for themselves. Yeah. Because if you were at home, are you going to pull out your paint kit? Probably not, yeah. because you're going to see that the laundry needs to get done yeah. and the dishes need to get washed and errands need to be run. But if you say that I am putting 10 o'clock every Friday aside yeah. for me and my painting and I'm yeah. going to come to the senior center and do my painting and I'm going to uh, have a social time with, with uh, these folks that are also into their painting. Yeah. Um, it doesn't have to be uh, you know, incredible Michelangelo, uh, yeah. you know, Picasso. It, it doesn't have to be paint by numbers. It's, I mean, it can be. You yeah. want to bring paint by numbers? By all means, bring your paint by numbers. By all means. But, uh, <laughs> but just, <laughs> it's just making time for yourself yeah. and yeah. to always remember that I know the, I know your kids need things for you, from you. I know your grandchildren need things from you and, and your friends and your family, other family members. But to, try to make time for yourself. And yeah. a part of that is, do try to uh, check out the senior center, mm -hmm. whether or not you're you're 65 or 105. We have things there to meet everyone's um, interests. We certainly hope. And if there's things going on that you would like to see that are not, mm -hmm. um, give me a suggestion. I'm always up interested in a new programming opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, the the organ social, mm -hmm. it was it came from a. Uh, a suggestion by a participant, mm -hmm. and it's a huge event now. Yeah, yeah. So, um, almost like a, is it almost like a chorus kind of thing? It's uh, they come and they they take turns playing. Yeah, and they come from other communities as well. I mean, if they come down a Tuesday morning to the organ social, it's yeah. like, it's amazing. Um, so just one person playing? Several. They all take okay. turns. The, those that can play, they all take turns playing. Yeah. And everyone else that, that doesn't play, they just sit and listen. And there's yeah. a big sign there that says, this sounded better at home. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, I mean, whoever thought, I never would have thought to put an organ social together. Yeah. That, I, that would not have been an idea That's that I had. Creative, yeah. So this particular, I mean, and kudos to Roland Richard. He mm -hmm. unfortunately recently passed away. He, he and Marcella Benoit put together this organ social and yeah. it's taken off and it was like I said a, an yeah. idea from yeah. a, a participant that and that wanted to see something happen and we made it happen and it's a huge a huge uh, has a huge following well, it's amazing to think in the future what programs might develop you know out, out of just like you said Someone's like suggestion, suggestion yeah. and ends up being a hit yeah and but uh, just take time for yourself do try the senior yeah. center. Don't think it's all just for, for uh, decrepit elders. That's not the case. I know that's the big uh, stigma. Everyone thinks, oh, there's just old people there. I mean, mm -hmm. my grandmother's 89, and she says she's not old enough yet to come to the senior mm -hmm. center. But, but I, if you do, the chances are you're not going to want to leave yeah. because yeah. it really is a wonderful place for uh, socialization mm -hmm. and information and exercise and, and wellness and, and just camaraderie. It's a great sense of community, so I hope you come down. The phone number to the Grafton Senior Center is 508-839-9242. You should always find a lovely, kind-hearted soul on the other end to pick up that phone. You typically do not get a machine unless the staff is completely out straight with other folks that are in the center. Uh, we try to make sure that lines all get answered. Yeah. We're at 30 Providence Road. We're attached to the municipal center. Any ramp door brings you into the senior center, and uh, we hope we see you there. Okay, great. Michelle, thank you very much Thanks, for coming Chris. by today. He's got a lot thank of information. This is only September. We've still got more <laughs> months to come as we head towards the winter. So thanks for joining us. We'll be back.